So yeah, we came out today, we're down at Loch Leven and we're we're going to do one of the walks around it. There's quite a few different uh, walks you can do and they're re what some of them are, are huge. I mean, it's, I think it's what, 13 kilometers? So I don't know if we'll, 30 miles, sorry. So I don't know if we're going to do that one, but we'll, we'll, we'll do some of it. Like I say, if I was a lot fitter, I'd probably go and do the, the 13 mile one today, but that's not going to happen. But hopefully, I've got the camera out today, so hopefully we're going to get some uh, nice photos. See, because the scenery around here, that's a, as you can sort of see behind me, it's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. And I don't think I've ever been here before. I don't think I've, I'd say I, I've, I've been in Kinross and, and in the surrounding areas, but I don't think I've ever just came out here and had a walk around. I think Laurie's motioning towards some boats behind me. She says uh, she wants to go out, take the boats out. Now, to be fair, there's, there's no one around and the engines are still on them. Surely that can't be safe. Okay. Well, you know, maybe later on I may have a boat. Although I don't know if I can put that in the vlog. Hmm. Stealing a boat, putting it in the vlog? Yeah, we'll see. Might edit the part out where I said stealing a boat. absolutely beautiful now behind me that like in here there's a huge graveyard with like a, a tower and all it's like a chapel almost looks like inside it it's absolutely beautiful I didn't obviously I didn't want to go in say, but we're just making our way down now and we're stopping us and now Laurie's reading all the little inscriptions on the, the metal down here So we're walking along the path back there and there's a guy coming towards us with a, with a dog and there was this huge big pheasant in the middle of the road and I thought, you know what, if I get close enough, it wasn't moving, I thought I'm going to get a really nice photo of this and it was just standing there, it was lovely and I heard the guy shout to his dog, he goes, go get it and he goes and sent the dog after the pheasant and I'm sorry but just why would you want your dog to be chasing after any kind of animal to, to catch it or tear it apart? I was like, it just, and it's rude as well, I mean, there was no need for it. The pheasant's minding its own business, and this guy's just sending his dog after it. Yeah, and then he walks by, and he makes a joke about it. He was like, oh, clearly there's no pheasant for dinner tonight. And you're like, no, there isn't, you know, because you're an idiot. I was like, and it, it annoyed me, it annoyed me to the point where I was like, you know what? It's just, it's such bad behaviour. I mean, I don't know if MD out there watches you have a dog yourself, but you don't, you wouldn't, 
train it or want it to go and catch or kill just a bird or animal just standing there minding its own business. Yeah, it just, it really annoyed me. And also, it ruined my goddamn photo. And I think that annoyed me more than anything. But yeah, just such rude behavior and then he jokes about it. I was like, you know what? I mean, what happens if, it, if the bird hadn't run away? If his dog had got a hold of it, but he just sat by it while it was, you know, tearing this, this poor bird apart. Yeah, I know, just, just annoyed me to the point where I thought I'd moan about it. along earlier and we came past this clearing the trees and they, it looked like they'd all been knocked down not chopped down but like literally knocked down but there was like it was almost like something had impacted in the middle of them and so I took a couple of photos of it so I, I'll pop them up so you can see it but all the trees really are bent over and they're all uprooted and everything yeah, these were huge trees it was like what? and it just seemed to be like a whole section of it but yeah they weren't cut down or anything so like, very strange looking and we're walking down to I think it's like a, it was supposed to be a bird watching, they said it was a bird watching like sort of hide to go and look at, but really we've walked down this path and we've came across a fence. So unless the hide is really good at hiding and it's camouflaged really, really well, that's, that's where it's supposed to be. You can't really see it because it's not focusing out there. There we go, that's the lake. Hide's supposed to be here. And uh, it's not. I can see some fishermen. I say they look like they're uh, having fun, but hmm, I'm kind okay, of disappointed. It was uh, talking about how they were going to see all the birds at the sort of lock and everything. So we've been walking along this little path here. It runs parallel with the sort of golf course over here. And I say we were. I didn't want to film it, but we watched a couple old boys on the golf course trying to try and uh, finish up putting. And you know, one of them had a massive long putt and he was very close. In fact, I think it felt, you know, like us standing staring at them might not be the best thing. So we're almost coming to the end. We didn't decide to go, uh, walk the whole way around. Like it's, it's some distance all the way around and uh, I'm not up to that today. But what we're doing just now is we're heading back into town and we're going to find some place to eat. Definitely need something. I've not had breakfast today or anything. And it's getting on to lunchtime. So we're going to grab some lunch. Definitely grab some caffeine because the tin of energy juice I've had this morning was nowhere near enough caffeine. But yeah, we, I definitely recommend coming out here. It's lovely. It's a, it's a really nice walk. And it's not too busy. It's, there's been quite a few people passing by, but again, it's nothing too busy. But what I would say is that there's lots of weird trees when we're walking, walking along this path just now. There's a, some of the trees are like hollow all the way up. That it's like they've been eaten from the inside by some sort of I don't know, fungus or or some sort of I don't know. I don't know what would do that. But yeah, so it's really strange. Lots of gnarly looking trees. And lots of ones that you're really worried about that they're going to fall over. It was just loads of them sort of towering over you, creeping over. Lots of ones that had fallen down and had their roots and everything all ripped up. So yeah, if you are coming down here, you know, a hard hat won't go amiss. Don't be walking along here at night and all end up with a tree on your head. But you can see behind us, it's, it's a little bit grey today as the sky just appeared in. And it's actually quite a nice day. It's, 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 it's honestly got to look like it's going to rain, but there's, there's, there's no rain at all. And it's really warm. It's, it's, it's just such a nice day. We thought it was going to be really bad because when we were coming out from Dundee, the uh, the weather looked really, really sort of awful when we were heading out. And then we started getting closer to here, and it just it seemed to get a lot nicer. Like I said, the temperature went up. The sky's cleared a little bit, but like I said, it still is grey. Although in Scotland, this is a fantastic day. This is the equivalent of our summer. I think we had a day in April where we had maybe three, well, I think it was about three days where we had some really exceptional sunshine in April. So that's summer over for us over here. I'd say all we've got to look forward to now is just winter, which starts in the summer and just 
Well, it just continues all year long in Scotland, essentially. But in the odd nice days we have, that's so I'll try and come out and, and definitely film some more stuff. De definitely going to do a lot more... So I, I, I don't want to call it touristy stuff, but I just I don't see enough of Scotland, even though I live in it. It's, it's one of those things, we always plan holidays going abroad or places I'd, I'd love to see and trips I'd love to go on. But it's like there's so much, let's say, on, on like your, your doorstep that I think it kind of goes by and you kind of miss a lot of it. And some of it I even done when I was a kid, when I was little. Like school trips or trips out with your parents, that sort of thing. But yeah, definitely something I'm going to do a lot more of.